Hi everyone, this is Missy, and today I'll show you how to run payroll using cutoff dates as your criteria. The first thing you want to make sure is go to your Utilities, Agency Info, Invoices, and then make sure the box is checked down here to use payroll by cutoff date. Another important thing to know is that in Rep Agency Works, the cutoff date is going by the completed date for the resource. So if the resource says they completed the job on 1029 and your cutoff date is 111, then they've met the criteria. All right, so let's run payroll by cutoff dates. You'll go to your reports tab, resource commissions, enter your cutoff date. So let's say you're going to pay on November 15th. So everything, every job that was completed by November 1st is going to meet the criteria for a commission payment. So we'll click preview. And everything in yellow is due because it's met the proper criteria. Everything in green is outstanding and would just be paid in the future. So there's no outstandings for these two. This is due. No outstanding for this one. Several outstandings for this one, but no due. All right, so we can go up here. Click check all resources if you want to check everything that's due all the way down. Or if you're not comfortable with that, you can click uncheck all resources and only click check all for that particular resource and check them one at a time. Either way, I'm going to go back up here and click check all. And then when you're ready, you'll click pay commissions and only those invoices that have met the proper criteria will show up on this screen. You still haven't closed out payroll yet. This is just one last chance for you to look at it, make sure that your totals are correct, that your completion date is all within the time frame, everything else that you might want to check. Now click confirm and print. That's what closed out payroll. So I'm not going to actually print this. I could, but you don't have to. And now to see what I just closed out, I can go back to resource payment history leave it on today. It can be detailed or condensed, whatever you want. I'm going to leave it on detailed. Preview. And here's the ones that I just closed out. So if you paid by check, you'd put the check number in here. If it was direct deposit, you can just put DD or whatever, whatever you want to. This is solely for you. Update. And then you can either print this out for yourself or you can email each report to each person. So if I click email, obviously only each resource would get their own report. It's pulling in whatever message you've given it on your custom messages over here on utilities. Or if I don't like that, I can just wipe it out and type over it. Send what, let it say whatever I want it to. And click send. So um, if you were looking for this message, I'll just show you really quick. It's under Utilities, Custom Messages, Resource, Payment, Email, Body. That's what it was pulling up. So you could change this to say whatever you wanted to. Okay, that's about it for running payroll using the cutoff dates. If you have any questions at all, just give us a call at 800-416-8775.